I'm doing something kind of wild today. I am going to launch a course in 24 hours, maybe 30, 28, something like that. I have a webinar tomorrow at 5 p.m. That's when I'm gonna officially launch this course. It's been something that has been on my mind and in my Google Drive for a long time. It is the course creation toolbox. A lot of you know about the social media management toolbox, which has a bunch of templates for social media managers, strategy documents, proposal documents, all kinds of things like that. Well, I had this idea to help course creators or aspiring course creators with things like email sequences, landing page templates, webinar templates, uh, course planners, all this kind of stuff, all documents that I use when I'm producing my digital products, but I just haven't had the time or you know the motivation, I guess, to sit down and just put it together. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm giving myself not a lot of time to just make it happen. So I have more or less all of the templates done, or at least in some format, a usable format that I use myself. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna sit down at my table for an hour, I think I'll give myself like an hour, maybe two, to just perfect them. It's probably gonna be a late night, it's probably gonna be an intense couple days, but I thought, let me document it because I really hope this inspires somebody. It is possible to launch something in a short period of time, especially if you already you know, have it in existence or have the bones of it. Uh, so I want to just give you a realistic view of what, what this is like. So come along. distracted by my phone so I just put it in a drawer I'm gonna grab my hourglass and do a true Pomodoro for myself and hopefully the desire to check my phone will encourage me to work a little harder and faster and more focused I was fighting myself to keep it moving, keep it moving, but it's two o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch. So all I had was like an Amy's microwave meal. Not exactly what I was looking for. I kind of wanted something that was really gonna be satisfying, but it is what it is. So I'm taking a little break. I'm eating this. I think I'll make another coffee, get ready um, and start filming. Cause I, I got all the templates in a good spot. I'm reminding myself that I can always add to this. There's two templates that like, I think I need to think on but there's 13 templates in there already. And I can always add those last two later after it's launched. And people really like that when they've already purchased something and then you're like, hey, surprise, here are two new free templates. So I think I'm just gonna do that and just kind of sit on those ones for a little bit or maybe do them tomorrow, who knows. But um, taking a little lunch break, watching the financial diet. This is just an ad, but watching the financial diet a vast empowered a little something i like to do i know this is a bad angle but um when filming you know after i get ready and then i have to come set up that really stresses me out because then i'm in like a cute outfit i've got my hair done my makeup and i'm all like moving things around it just if you know you know so before i get ready i am setting up my laptop setting up you know all my webcams and my microphones so that way once i'm all ready i can just run down here sit down, open the laptop, and it's ready. I also went ahead and organized all of the things that I need to record. So I have links to everything so they can just be clicked. I cleared my web browser, I opened a new one so I wasn't distracted by anything. Then I have these little check boxes. So once I'm ready to record, I can just boom, did that, did that, did that. And just, you know, they're in the correct order as well as they're gonna appear in the course. So feeling good, feeling great. All that's left, to get ready is me. And we're ready. I actually took a nap. So this is not as action packed as I thought this day was gonna be. I just, my eyes felt really heavy. I woke up at like six today and I said, I'm going to take a 30 minute nap. So I did, I'm ready now. I'm feeling way more recharged. I made a cup of coffee. It's five o'clock so the, the crunch the time crunch has kind of started because the lighting starts to get weird, you know, around seven. Hey, hello? Hey. Hey, 
Sorry, I sent you a bunch of texts. It's okay, I was recording for nothing because, well, I'll tell you in a minute, but what, what are you doing? I just recorded. Okay, my camera's gonna die now too. Wow, it is, it is really my day. I just recorded for over an hour. And why is this so zoomed in? There we go. I'm also extremely bright. I'm just having hard times today. I recorded for over an hour. My microphone was not connected. It was, but this stupid thing, like, uh, it, it like shorts out or something. I don't know. I'm stressed out. It's all about, it's because of this freaking MacBook, because you need the dongles and stuff. I'm mad. It's 619 and I am mad, but I'm already, the lighting's already getting messed up. What do I do here? I think I gotta use this last little bit of dusk kind of daylight and try to do it again. I wanna cry. But sometimes these things happen and I just gotta keep on moving. Gotta keep on moving. A decaf hazelnut almond milk latte. Tall. Tall, please. Checking in at 9.56 p.m. So I had to re-record. It looks a little uh, nighttime-y. Okay, something's going on with my vlog camera as well. Let's fix this real quick. There we go, colors look a little normal. Anyway, uh, don't love how it looks because it was getting dark, but we're just powering on through. So this is what I do. I have already edited the first five little clips and I just start, it was one take, you know, for all of the 15 or so episodes or, you know, lessons. So I'm just going through and cutting and then I'll start a new one and cutting. That's a cute face. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. This has got to be the most authentic vlog <laughs> I've ever vlogged. This light makes me look like I am an interrogation subject. I uh, just took a shower, washed all my makeup off. A bit started wearing the beanie, so I'm getting, you know, yeah, love this for me. I've got my water in a wine glass. Let's make that a hashtag. If you didn't know, I don't drink, but I like to uh, class it up here sometimes. Okay, so I was in the shower, or maybe I was getting out. I don't know. I was upstairs. I had this brief had this brief moment of, is this something anybody even cares about? Or is this valuable, you know? I wanna talk about it because that is something that I hear from you all a lot when I ask, you know, do you wanna create a course, whatever. It's like, am I ready to create a course? Or am I, you know, uh, what's the word, qualified to teach a course? Or do I even have anything to say that people are gonna care about? And I think there's the one side of it that's like, yeah, you should actually make sure that you can teach people. And, and by that, I mean that you have a proof of concept. You know, these templates that are in the course creation toolbox are all things that I've shared with my coaching clients before, that I've shared with students in other programs before. And I've seen the impact that they've made. So I consider that my proof of concept and I have also used them. Like I actually use these templates, these documents to price my own courses, to plan my own launches, to host my own webinars. So I am the proof of concept as well. But I think the other side of it is like, you also can't freak yourself out too much about that. You know, you're like at a certain point, you just gotta test it. And for those of you who are newer, yeah, you might not have, you know, hundreds of students or coaching clients or hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue that you can attribute to what you're putting out there. But another thing that you can do is host a beta group. I really recommend this for first time course creators. You know, find like three to five ideal clients. If you're talking to service providers, reach out, you know, do some networking, find three to five service providers that will take your course for free in exchange for a testimonial slash review. Use all of their constructive criticism and feedback to improve the course and use the positive stuff on your landing page. Just wanted to let you know, I feel that way sometimes too. All my videos are uploaded except for two, so I gotta work on those. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. <laughs> it's the next day. I stayed up really late uh, till like 4.30. I woke up, I, I, I don't think there's gonna be good angle. I woke up at about 9.30. So I think I got around four or five hours of sleep. I just finished pretty much everything for the course. So the course is done and ready. The only thing I have to do still is update my webinar slides. I'm redoing a webinar that I've already done, but I need to update the offer at the end of it to reflect this new offer. Shouldn't be too hard. I did start on it, um, so it should only take me 30, 40 minutes, but I had to pull myself together because I have a podcast interview scheduled today, and I, I feel like my makeup is like, this is not a stellar job. My hands are like shaky because I'm tired and simultaneously had too much caffeine, you know, but I hope he's not recording video. I actually don't know, but pulled myself a little bit together as best as I could do. Gonna go do that. Then I'm meeting with my friend Ryan, who we're actually collaborating on some educational content too. And then I should have like a two hour break between that and my webinar to get the slides done. It's gonna be like boom, boom, boom. I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to eat lunch. I did eat breakfast though. Gotta eat breakfast. I'm just looking forward to 6 p.m. tonight when this will be done. I can lay down, take a nap and just live a normal life again. Launches are just, I feel like I'm in a time warp, you know, like I'm in this like weird container of time. I don't know. I'm not making sense. The Super excited to talk to you all today about digital products. So we've got Aurora in the chat who's excited to be here, Mason and Parna. Vanessa, lifetime customer. Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, Char just grabbed it. Okay, well, I tried to vlog my launch week and it didn't really work out so well. This has happened every single time that I've tried to vlog a course launch. It is just way too hectic to vlog every second. So let's walk through what I did to launch my, let's see, what is this? My seventh course, I think successfully launch day went really well the webinar went really well i think i converted at around 50 percent on the webinar i actually haven't done all that analysis but it was a very high converting webinar went really really well so let's walk through what i did during my launch shall we well there's a launch organizer in the toolbox that's the spreadsheet that should in theory keep you organized i'm not really going to go through that because it's a big big spreadsheet it has just like an overall plan it has your content calendar in there it has a map like in a calendar of how long things are going to take but what i did use and what i am going to talk about is the webinar template webinars have really helped me in my launching <laughs> like i didn't used to launch with webinars they kind of freaked me out i was like i don't know it feels too salesy my tip for delivering a good webinar is simply to give value like teach a real class, you know? And I teach a lot of free classes all the time, so I'm pretty used to it. Like I teach them in the Freelance Reddit Club, I've taught them for, you know, other companies and things like that. So I just go into it thinking I'm gonna teach people a really good lesson. Like I'm gonna give people a really good lesson. I'm gonna make this like more action packed than a YouTube video. And then at the end, I'm gonna ask them if it's okay if I introduce them to a product that's gonna help take them to the next level in this journey. I introduce the product, some people buy, some people don't, and then we go into Q&A. So that's the format, but I did include in this toolbox the actual template that I start from. Now, of course, I tweak it a little bit here and there depending on what I wanna do, but it follows the exact like sequence, about 30 minutes of teaching, um, engagement exercises throughout are super important to make sure that your audience is staying with you. Cause I know I personally have signed up for a lot of webinars and then I've like been on my phone or started painting my nails or done chores and things like that. And I'm not really paying attention to what the person is saying. So you want to make sure that people are staying engaged. Uh, that's just going to help your conversion rate in the end. So it went really well. Like I said, it was really, really fun. I haven't done much since then. I was just so tired. I was like, I need to sleep. I got a lot of things going on, some travel and things like that coming up. So I kind of just stopped there. But what I'm going to do from here on out is I'm going to actually use my email launch sequences, which are also in the toolbox. I'm going to write those. Um, I'll probably start on that tomorrow and officially launch my entire email list, really telling them, hey, here's the product. It's 
new, like check it out. I'm building up the value in that. So I'm gonna do that. Also some social posts. There's some social post templates in this toolbox as well. They're, they're you know, just simple things to get you started. But um, yeah, I'll definitely do some social media posts. I've also been posting on TikTok every day. It was kind of unintentionally. I just knew that I wanted to post on TikTok while I was launching because I just feel like it helped. Like, for me, I'm still figuring out TikTok very much. You all know it's not my favorite platform, but what it has done for me is I, I've noticed it's really helped with like brand building, not so much conversions, but when I post out actively on TikTok, my Instagram following goes up, I notice. And I just feel like it kind of like aggravates the algorithm for lack of better words everywhere like it it just kind of keeps me top of mind for people keeps my content fresh i don't know if that's just in my head i don't know if it's because i carry myself differently because i'm in this tiktok mindset but anyway i i knew i wanted to post on tiktok so it just so ha has so happened that it's been about every day i think i'm gonna try to post every day for like the next month or you know like five times a week for the next month and just see what happens but that's kind of how the launch is going and has went hope it was helpful hope it was an interesting little behind the scenes if you want to check out the course creation toolbox i'm going to link it down below it'll help you at least with a starting point you know for a lot of these documents and just kind of getting organized i think the webinar template has been a favorite so far it is literally what i use i, I make a copy in canva every time i need to go do it at webinar the email sequences people are also really liking i know when when I first got started with email marketing, I was like, what the heck do I say? When you Google like email welcome sequence, email launch sequence, they'll give you like a bullet point list of email one, introduce the product, email two. But I'm like, no, I need an example. Like I need something I can copy and paste. And I did include that for y'all. It's also a living document. So if you purchase it and you want something in here that you don't see, just send me um, a DM and let me know like, hey, I wish I could see what your blah, blah, blah process looks like. And I will be happy to add it for you. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Please subscribe, like, comment, all the things. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.